Oh, What's up guys, this is Sean Dan and today we are in Serdang or Bukit Jalil, I don't know because the address is actually Taman Bukit Serdang but it's really a street away from Bukit Jalil so it's in between those Yeah, let's go This is hidden in the corner right opposite the mines and also Astro office. From the main Bukit Jalil Highway, it's a small little junction, goes to like a two lane kind of road. Not very pleasant kind of entrance. Lah. Then when you need to reach to a bridge where construction materials are everywhere. That's why the first feeling of arrival, not there. So the impression is already not very nice, lah, but I haven't seen it yet. So. Access downwards from the multiple car park, right? I come here and chill over here, and this is the entrance of the building, which is rather dangerous. Stuff. Look at the leaf design, some Roman style <laughs> cathedral design inspired, but it's very short, very short. Just came out from the leaf, and this is the leaf lobby. It's rather wide, and, but rather short, so. The good thing is that because of that view, you actually are distracted away from the height. Like, so when you come out, oh, so bright. Right? Then this very cool thing, I just discovered. This is a rubbish chute. This one is for rubbish or right? you take and throw in. Then we will shoot away, go to ground floor. But that's also another part of refuse chamber that is not as common in Malaysia like, because Malaysia's rubbish has a lot of wet stuff because we love wet cooking, right? Kind of a bag full of water, imagine. Pa! Boom! Pssh. Ooh, nasty. This is so huge to look at the corridors. My god! And per floor, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units per floor, and a floor is like this. Oh, this is the biggest corridor. But one thing, la, if these are actually landscapes, right, then it will change the whole feeling of this space. Really. Because now, very hard, no soft touches at all. None. Okay, so the first thing you can see is the view which is uh, green, so that's why they, maybe they are inspired by that. So this is your living, and this is your dining, and this is your kitchen already. So one thing to note is also the very high ceiling, I think it's the 3 meter ceiling, so that's good. I'm seeing shimmers in this long-lasting dream Let's head on the specs first. So this is a 1,000 square feet, three bedroom, three bedroom unit, free whole project. So for this episode, Cozy Homes brought me here, and they are actually renting this out for 2.2 thousand. I think the selling price now is around 450 per square feet. So that makes it 450 thousand. So in this review, I hope that the audience will also learn the difference between public listed developers and also private limited developers. Oh yeah, before I forget, for those who actually like to look at the floor layout, so floor layout. So this is type A, right? So this is the entrance. So this is your kitchen space. This was meant to be an island, right? And there was an option to actually go for fully furniture. This was a space for island. And if you don't do island, right, it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna be so wide and so nice. That's the living room and you can see that this width is actually very comfortable. Then next to the dining space will be your fridge and your kitchen and stuff like that. So I think that's a fully furnished part to the design. Okay, so for the kitchen, so this is rather long. This is around 600 as well, which is very sufficient. And this is Safar burner sands from Germany. This is from Italy. Wow, you see the kitchen set is very impressive. Then you have all this storage space, cabinets, okay? But generally, the whole kitchen is very, very comfortable and luxurious. Now, if you just look at the kitchen, so there's no backsplash, so this is tiles, 
and the basin as well, so it's done in matte black, so it gives that classiness, la, but oh, I don't know why this gloss are here. And this is where you wash, this is where you job, and this is where you cook. And check this out, so this is the hot. Whoa. And there's just a lot of space, la. a lot of space. And let's head on to the yard. So this is your yard, and these are your compressors. So these are the not so pleasant looking things that you always see. La. Okay. For developers, usually they will just conceal this, but this is like an afterthought. So this yard, rather small, right, rather narrow, just nice for a washing machine. But what I really like is this window. Some people who really like like heavy cookings, right? So again, they will just extend out here, right, to have a counter. Then what they do is they do the heavy cooking there, and they just pass through the dishes here. And you can actually seal it up. Then the whole unit won't smell like your cooking stuff. But you need to figure out where to put in your washing machine. That's the setback to it. Uh. And one thing to notice is the difference in tiles. This one is actually like, if you can see like it's a uh, lichen one. And this one is actually the coarse one. So it's the rough one. It's supposed to be anti-slip. So because of the kitchen, I don't know whether it works, but I really appreciate the intention. Nice. The Woodrain, 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 all of it, woodrain, woodrain everywhere. This is the master bedroom and you have your master bathroom on the side. So full height wall house. Okay. Check out the specs. So this is can I see Esteen. Okay, the WC and your shower screen. Nice. Again with the woodrain. So honestly this master bedroom rather narrow la. on the length yeah, I think it's fine but on the width and wait you can see that the orientation when you open up the curtains I think it's going to be great in the evening because now it's like 11 so the morning sun is actually this side next to your bed you have this very thick column that people are supposed to sit on it I guess because it's so thick it's like 500 600 mm okay so this is the view that you will get Generally okay lah. So that's the stadium side already, that's Bukit Jalil side. Because of the height of the unit as well, right? It adds up to the narrowness because the proportion of the unit. Lah. Coming out from the room, on your right will be your second room. And this is your second bedroom. And this is a perfect example where some of the audience talk about want to talk about feng shui, right? Chinese believes that uh, if your leg face the door is not good lah, because if you open up like that, I can see everything like if the person is sleeping. So that was what I was taught last time. That one may be legit or not, I don't know, but because it's open to the open area, we will call this the public area where you're living. Sometimes your guests will be hanging out around here. And straight away when you open the door, you can see everything in your room. So that is something that a lot of residents don't like as well. Privacy part for this room. Not very nice. Then because of the toilet, right, they need to accommodate the toilet so there will be a king here. And this one also because of the toilet, you have a king here. Wow, this frame really a lot of brown. So you have all wardrobes like this. And your door also this pattern. Overall, size-wise, for this room, I think it's fine. But I want to show you something. So for floorings, right? <sighs> for flooring, so these are your switch, right? So it's around uh 450 from the floor because usually there will be this thing called skirting so skirting is always like a decorative thing to actually conceal joints in construction where you always see floors right it's always at the construction joints for example so this is actually a brick wall concrete wall joining to the floor so you can see that all this unevenness look at the edge right so you can see that ayo yo so next to the door frame as well, you can see that these are the not so good things. Lah. If you're a homeowner, then these are things that you pick up. But if you're for investment, then it's okay. Lah. Just rent out first. Lah. It's not a defect, but it's actually just poor workmanship. Lah. You see, there's actually sound to it. So it's actually textured. I'm not sure why, right? But they like it. Lah. If you notice my fingers, right? It's actually curving in. 
because the thickness of the wall is not considered with the door frames so door frames is this right so sometimes the wall is like off 1mm 2mm so they need to curve in that's why you can see the joints a lot of uh, aftermath okay next to it will be your toilet full height wall tiles the toilets are rather complete so i'm glad that they have your basin wc floor trap water tap okay nice one thing to notice, this is the main water inlet, right? You can lock your water if you want to fix your toilets. You look at this, again, not well done. Okay, but some would actually just conceal it in the ceiling. Sometimes it's actually in the ceiling, but this ceiling is too high. Next would be the plus one room. And we are in the plus one room. Okay, not bad. So if this is a study room, it's actually very nice because I like this window, la. wow. But I don't think you will see my face really, but it's okay. These are actually designed for this purpose where you can just sit on it because it's thick enough. One thing to point out is you look at this. So, this is the joints between T1 and why so thick and why the color. I'm not sure whether it's a design or is it a defect. And this beam is very deep. Wow, I do not, don't know why this needs to be so thick. So I think that's all for the uni. Uh, let's head on to the facility deck. Let's go. Coming up on the facility deck, and you will have this amount. Like it feels somewhat like sphera in the. So it's like everything is super white. Super white meaning it's not thought true. On the right, you have a gym, a ping pong table. Then your saunas, your saunas here, but then your changing room outside. I'm not sure why saunas are separated. Right, Jen's sauna is actually here. What? Okay, so we're now in the gym. Equipment wise, not a lot. And let's check out the view we get. So it's swimming pool. Uh, okay lah. Then you have paintings. Look at the paintings on the columns. <laughs> so you can see that it's not well thought through because you don't have a rubber tiles layer, right? And there's no mirrors. So again, it's an afterthought. Okay, so now we are in a kids' play area, and if you look into every brochure or every property portals, right? They sell the kids' area. It's such an amazing, unique selling points, and there, there you have like murals, lo. Generally, things are not completed yet lah. Okay guys, so I think that's all for the review. It's now time for Sean take 3 on 3. 3 things I really like, number 1 will actually be the location of like secondary choice. Because this one is actually very close to the Bukit Jalil action which is the IMU la, which is the Apit la, Embassy Highway la, one road away from Kasas as well. All those are good and you are in between Bukit Jalil Puchong on this side, then you are just one roundabout away from the mines and there you can actually hit on to Semenye, Kajang and stuff like that for the price that you are paying because if you look at like Twin Arcs if you look at Link 2 those are double in terms of price per square feet number 2 will actually be the scale of things so contractor turns developers right usually will actually dictate their design by the location of structural columns then you have spaces where suddenly A, eh, why the unit living room so big and then the lift lobby is so big, the corridor, oh my god. Third of all will actually be the peace and quiet of the surrounding. Really no highway noise because you're actually a distance away from the road. Lah. Okay, three things I don't like. Number one is actually the workmanship. Very rough, lah. it's not as detail oriented. Then number two is the inexperience of design. Lack of experience towards scale. They don't know how to manage in terms of uh, what is big enough which is good, what is small enough which reflects in the actual unit itself so you can see the bedrooms why so small while your living room so big and most likely it's dictated by all the structural members they design and figure out the efficiency of the structural members first then only they figure out the architecture and space and this greatly reflects as well in the facility that is practically afterthought meaning okay I just need to have a space 
for facility that that's it so that only i'll see what is required and i'll just put it put it put it put it, put it. last of all the experience and the accessibility from bookie jailer then it's not as ideal so i think that's all for this episode with the budget of 500,000 or 400,000 this is the only choice i get as close to the city shout out again to cozy homes for actually having me if you really like this video like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Tan 